Today we have the 45 degree hip and back extension exercise in our program. Here's a few quick tips to get started and progress with this exercise. First, make sure that pad is below your hip crease so that you can get a proper hinge. Also, make sure your heels are tight against that back plate. Next, we're gonna lower slowly, feeling the stretch in our hamstrings and getting as deep as possible. Make sure that your spine is neutral on the way up. It's okay to relax a little at the bottom, but we wanna be neutral as much as possible. Now, in order to progress, we can add load with dumbbells. The best way is to simply pin those dumbbells at our side. Then we're simply only limited by the weight of dumbbells that we have available to us. If that weight is not much, there are other ways to progress. Now we could put a barbell on our back, but that's pretty advanced. Before we do that, I actually really prefer and love the single leg hip and back extension. So this is gonna allow for a really deep stretch. It's gonna minimize the need for extra load. And it's also gonna quickly identify any imbalances we have between either leg or hip. But of course, you can add load with this, and you should over time as you progress. But what if you don't have the 45 degree machine? Well, I think the next best option is to do straight legged, lock, locked kneed hip hinges. So as seen here, of course, I wanna focus on keeping a neutral spine and getting as deep of a stretch as possible. I don't mind reaching at the bottom, but let's focus on that neutral spine for the final lifting phase. Again, lock those knees and hinge at the hips. This is in contrast to the RDLs that we'll be doing later in the week, in which we'll allow our knees to bend a little bit more so that we can increase the load. Use this if you don't have the 45 degree machine as more of a drill for the hamstrings. In fact, you can see right here the stretch I'm getting on my hamstrings. I thought that was pretty cool. And so just like the 45 degree machine, you can progress this by going to single leg. And now we're gonna really turn this into a stability and balance exercise. And for that reason, if we are going single leg, I don't mind if you experiment with straight leg, bent knee, see what feels good. This is now sort of changing from the purpose of the 45 degree into more of a stability exercise. But whatever you have available, give that a try today. You're gonna love this exercise. Best of luck to y'all.